the name of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, General Rudenko presents counts three and four, charging that all the defendants committed war crimes in Germany and in all those countries occupied by Germany. The Nazi conspirators committed crimes against enemy armies, against prisoners of war, against the civilians of occupied lands. They believed in the barbaric doctrine of total war and considered themselves freed from the restraints of international law or the established customs of war. German anti-Nazis were the first victims, but with the war their numbers swelled to include citizens of all the nations of Europe. Their fate is described by witness Rudolf Hess. I commanded Auschwitz until the 1st of December 1943 and estimate that at least two and a half million victims were executed and exterminated there by gassing and burning. At least another half million succumbed to starvation and disease, making a total dead of about three million. Included among the executed and burned were approximately 20,000 Russian prisoners of war who were delivered at Auschwitz and Wehrmacht transports. The remainder of the total number included about 100,000 German Jews and great numbers of citizens from Holland, France, Belgium, Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Greece and other countries. Little by little, the Nazis were reaching what they called the final solution, the total extermination of the Jews of Europe. Hess described the process well. We had two SS doctors on duty at Auschwitz to examine the incoming transports of prisoners. The prisoners would be marched past one of the doctors who would make spot decisions as they walked by. Those who were fit for work were sent into the camp Others were sent immediately to the extermination plant. Children of tender years were invariably exterminated since by reasons of their youth they were unable to work. We endeavored to fool them into thinking they were to go through a delousing process. It took from three to 15 minutes to kill the people in the death chamber, depending upon climatic conditions. We knew when the people were dead because their screaming stopped. We usually waited about one half hour before we opened the doors and removed the bodies. After the bodies were removed, our special commandos took off the rings and extracted the gold from the teeth of the corpses. Much of this loot was then transferred to secret vaults of the Reichsbank at Frankfurt am Main, the Reichsbank of Defendant Funk. 